Today at the Naval Academy was yet another milestone for members of the class of 2019, service assignment. This is the day these midshipmen found out what their career paths will be. Back in August, they were allowed to select up to six preferences, and this among 24 different choices in the Navy and Marine Corps. And we were there when midshipman first class Megan Vile learned not only her career path, but also her first duty assignment. Midshipman first class Megan Vile. Surface warfare and a blue chip to USS Kearsarge. Graduated Key School, what year? Uh, 2013. And then went to where? Uh, I went to Brown University for two years. And transferred from Brown to the new. Correct. Um, and what they just announced was that I got a blue chip. Yes, which um, means what? So Let me see your blue chip. Uh, this is just a coin that they gave everyone who went slow. Okay. Um, but a blue chip is a... Is a it's really when a ship uh, decided to pick me up wow. instead of me having to select a ship. So tell me what ship it is. Uh, USS Kearsarge, LHD-3 out of Norfolk, Virginia. So not that far away from home. Correct. All right. yep. Pretty excited about that? I'm so excited. Was SWO your first choice? It was. I can choose another ship if I wanted to, but that one is reserved specifically for Was that a complete surprise to you? Um, I can't say it was. They kind of, my ships built the beans before that they wanted to recruit me. So um, I'm really happy that it finally went through, though, because there are a lot of things that can go wrong um, and it not happen. Yeah. And there were, there were quite a few people who, who reached for uh, really difficult communities to get into, really competitive ones, um, and, and they got what they wanted. So it's always great to see that. The Naval Academy itself is just a really long process. Um, I went to college for two years before this. Um, so I, I, I'm a sixth year college student. Um, and it's it's not the easiest road to choose the Naval Academy above like the regular college experience. Um, but it's so worthwhile. And, and this is one of the great milestones where uh, us seniors are finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. and. Uh, you know, now we now we get to look forward to something. We get to look forward to our communities. In first class, Brandon Seguinia. Let's go. Donna Cole, WNAV News.